good morning and welcome or good afternoon or whatever it is in your part of the world. Um, I am painting today on a 12 inch, inch, I don't usually say inches, hexagon, hexagonal, hexagon. So I wanted to put just a normal acrylic base down before I put the fluid on it so it had got the edges nice and covered um, but still I've got enough um, area to blow out the paint. The base coat is dark sea with a good blob of the pearl mist. Okay, my puppy's not going to behave herself so I have to put her out. She's playing with Benson. Um, yeah, it's been noisy. So that's what I mixed. I mixed equal parts, probably, yeah, probably equal parts. Just no, no pouring medium or nothing. I just mixed the paint and then I just uh, used this sponge brush to put on the base coat. So that was my base coat. Right here, I'm going to move over now to show you. I have got all these colours mixed, but I am certainly not going to use them all. But I will use a few. So, as I told you before in a other video, that I've mixed the or dark sea and I've done cool red and some dark colours <coughs> with the pearl mist. And it's just so absolutely glittery, shiny, beautiful. So if you can get yourself any of that, I'll miss. Okay, I have given Rosie a bone, so I'm hoping that keeps her quiet. And I've given Benson one and he's outside. Bindi is sunning herself down the garden, so she's all good. No naughty girl there. <laughs> so, rightio. What I'm going to do, first of all, is I'm going to try and do sort of different I've done this before you've seen me do this before but I'm gonna see if it works this way to try and get a bit of a different background to my summer garden pour something something bright and uplifting right here let me try so the dullet down will be the white as well See how we go with this. Hopefully it comes out all right, otherwise I will um, scrape it. <laughs> I'm not going to have something if I'm not happy with it. So the best thing is, is to uh, scrape the paint off. You can scrape the paint off into a container so you save it. Or you can scrape it off onto plastic if you want to save it for skins. So there's lots of things you can do with the, if you decide to change your mind on a piece of art and you don't like it and you want to start again. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Okie doke, let's get this going. I'll just move everything out of the way because I know I'm going to blow it all off if I don't. Blow it everywhere. Okie doke, let's blow this out. Right. 
there. Oh my goodness, I love it. Look at that. What a nice background, hey? Something different. So that's, that's beautiful. Oh my goodness, Rosie, that's gorgeous. Yes, Rosie, that's gorgeous. I like it. I'm gonna just dab my sides and dab it with your fingers. It's absolutely fine. No, nothing is against the rules, remember? There is no rules. The only rules is your rules. The only rule is there's no rules, that's it. <laughs> I have to remind myself of that sometime too. So you just dab in the sides to get your, your nice colours over the sides as well. And it doesn't matter if it's dabbed in there because I've got that um, acrylic underneath. So there's going to be plenty there. Wow. I... That is super, it is super duper. I am so happy with that. Ooh, the possibilities are endless as we all find out when we're doing this kind of art. Rightio, now for some more magic in here. So I'm gonna fill this up, this area with color. That's beautiful, I'm loving it. So this was the cool red with a good dash of the pearl mist and it is just glistening and so is this it's just glistening it's beautiful i just absolutely loving this addition that i found um so it's all good Ooh, it is shimmery shiny gorgeousness love it That is very nice. Okie doke. You just settle, pedal. You just, oh, you're a good girl. She actually settled right behind my feet. Little Velcro dog. Little Velcro dog. Okie doke. What other bits of gorgeousness do I want in here? So I definitely am going to put some more white in. I am definitely what color is that one that's not sure whether to go orange or i think i'm gonna really throw some jazz in the mix this is the pear it's called pear by um global as well i'm not gonna put too much of this i'll just wiggle it do the wiggles through it I, this is would probably be a little bit better uh, if it was a little thicker for this particular style that I'm to doing on the bottom. The paints needed to be thin to blow them out, but when you're going to keep them there, they need to be a little bit on the thick side. So I'm going to put some of my um, Berry Delicious. This is the custom colour that I make myself. Got lots of videos with the recipe in it. Yeah, thank you, Dirk. And I will add the last bit of the um, the dark see with the pearlescent medium in that I blew out. in the mix if I do not like how these colors are turning I will just scrape this off because I absolutely love that and I could have kept it all minimalistic and and posh looking to keep but you know I, I'm a lover of color so 
and you have to do it your way, not the way everybody else thinks that you should do it. You've got to keep true to yourself. That's what I believe anyway, so. Righty-o. I just give that a gentle tilt and hope that I don't disturb that top too much. It's okay if it runs down a little bit. Just got to keep my eye on it. Just do it gently. Okay, I'm going to leave it there because I don't want to lose the gorgeousness I've got up there. So I will just give that a go over with my heat wand. Just stick with me guys if you think what the heck is she doing because I really hope that this turns out but I'm not, now I'm second guessing myself with the colors on the bottom so like I said if I don't like it I'll scrape it off onto um, a plastic sheet so I can put it into a um, just another uh, pouring jug Righty oh, I want to if I can find it. Thank you. Let's see how I go with this. This is just the Amsterdam white with flow troll. So I'm just gonna see if I can bring a bit. Oh, it's blocked, the end is blocked. So I'm gonna just I just want to see if I can bring a bit of the colour up into that by doing some super swipies, but we'll see if it doesn't work out again. You go to plan A, B, C, or D, and you try it from there. I'm gonna, 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 gonna just cut a bit of this um, soft plastic file divider to make a swipey tool. So, got that soft plastic file divider. Let's just give this a go and see if I like it or I don't. It is giving some awesome effects, I must say. Wow, okay. I like it, I like it. Next time I might keep it all simple, more simple the colours, but you know, like I said, you have to be true to yourself and do what's in your heart, not what everybody, you believe everybody else will want you to or think is right. You have to do what you want. Your art room, your rules, your way. Oh, that is nice. That's such, oh, I'll have to bring you down and see this lovely lace. Rightio. Now this would be a good time to have a second canvas handy to um, press your balloon into. So I'm going to blow a balloon up, but I want to blow the balloon up quite large because um, I think this really needs some nice large effects, but I'm not going to just do all balloon kissing with it. I'm going to try and do some other effects in it. So it might be, you know, if you find that this paint is needs drying off, walk away from it, leave it to dry. I don't want to blow it up any bigger in case it bursts in my face. Radio. I did have a balloon pre-blown up, but it has deflated. Okie doke. So balloon kiss. Ooh, wowzers. Oh, isn't that nice? I need it. Oh, let me see if I've got a canvas handy. I have got a pre-used canvas, so what I can do is I'll put it on the side and I'll put some balloon kisses on the canvas. 
Oh, they are super duper pretty. Super duper pretty. And as I've told you before, with those balloon kisses off your balloon, you can put onto cardstock to make your own pretty cards. They're really nice, big balloon kiss. That's gorgeous. Oh, I do love this. I love my day job. I love my puppies and I love my day job. <laughs> Can't be bad if you love what you do. Okie doke. I am not, still not quite sure if I've made a blunder with the colours, uh, with my blowout area, but you know, you just have to try these things. I didn't want to, you know, ruin this nice great big hexagon and I don't believe I have but I'll let you guys be the judge and let me know what you think would you buy this painting would you buy it well let's see what it looks like finished hey and then I can ask oh gorgeous balloon kisses coming off this Oh my goodness, Moses trousers. So you hear the sound it's making, like kissing? That is why I have always called it balloon kissing and not balloon smashing. It doesn't go smash, smash. I'm not smashing it. I'm kissing the canvas with my balloon. That is stunning. Flipping love it. I love it, love it, love it. Now I'm just rolling the balloon off the edge, but I think that it needs me to bring in the smaller balloon now for detail. I'm still not convinced about those colors, but something in my crazy head told me to do those colors. And so there you go, you've got it. So what I'm gonna do now is bring in the smaller little balloon for the detail. So it's just kissing it where you've already kissed your big one so it puts a really nice gorgeous detail in there and this does when they dry they look super duper and like I said you can be using your small balloon to put onto card to make your own gift cards and jazz them up gorgeous 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 I'm going to do some rolls off the edge so to just so that paint looks you can do balloon kisses on the edge of your canvas it makes a really nice addition to the edges and if you don't use your finger like I did at the beginning. That room just makes a nice, a nicer etch on your side of your canvas to balloon kiss it. So another little idea. I might leave this to dry off just a little and then I'll come back and just embellish these bits in here a little bit further and I'll turn it around to show you guys so you can see a little bit better. I am absolutely not convinced that this colour is doing anything for that gorgeous blowout. It does look like two separate paintings so I'm not sure what to do about that. Either, you've got to either get rid of one or the other but I think that I will let this dry because sometimes when I second guess myself and I let it dry, it's perfectly fine. And it just, it's just different. It's not, you know, I can certainly guess that somebody else will do the same. There we go, I'll turn it around. And you guys tell me what you think. Does that look like a big, gorgeous, posy, flower burst? Oh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I think I could have, should have kept with the same tones, but 
yeah i'm just not convinced on that one so i'm gonna leave it for you guys to let me know um you know constructive criticism criticism is perfectly fine so yeah i really love that idea and i will absolutely definitely do it again but i think i'm going to keep the tones the same i don't know i just can't figure that one out yet but anyway i hope you enjoyed it so watch out for the photos at the end i might come over it with my camera again to show you some nice detail in there but thanks so much for joining me you lovely people until tomorrow i'm here every single day so no excuse to miss some um, art therapy watching some art therapy i love my art room so um yeah pretty much every day i'm here so until tomorrow i'll say bye for now just bringing you down to see a bit of this gorgeousness but yeah i, I am just not convinced about the two colors together it does kind of look like two it should be two separate paintings lovely effects in it and did try to bring some of the color up into the um, other piece i mean i could i don't really want to do any more to it than what i've done um because you, you know i'm i'm guilty of overworking a canvas every single time but I'm usually happy with the results when I've done it. So these are gorgeous, gorgeous effects. Really, really happy with this. So it's sort of opened up now in my mind to do, yeah, like a winter wonderland effect with it, or it just looks like some terrific sky or something. So now my mind's working over time to bring some colors that are actually going to complement it but I really don't think that I've achieved that here um yeah <laughs> second guessing okie doke until tomorrow bye for now